You're probably here because you've heard of the recent boba shortage. Unfortunately, that news is true, and I'm crying inside with you. But no worries, your girl has got your back with this mango boba milk recipe from scratch. And let me tell you, it is super refreshing and perfect for the summer. Mmm, mmm, mmm. We're gonna start this recipe off with our fresh mangoes, and yes, we're gonna cut the sides off, both the left and the right, and keeping the seed intact. We can eat that for snacking later. And then we're gonna score the chunks just like this, sort of like a pound or number sign, if you must kind of go there for some visuals. Once they are nicely scored, we're gonna flip open the mangoes and then just cut the chunks off into a plate or bowl of your choice. And we're going to do this for all the mangoes that we're using for this recipe. To cook down our mangoes, we are going to heat up a pan on low fire, or you can put it up to medium if you want, and add in the chunks of mango and further add in that sugar and a half cup of hot water. Using a wooden spatula or something that has some kind of hold because yeah, that plastic spatula was not doing any justice. Uh, we are going to break them down further, kind of smushing them and mashing them until a nice puree forms. But while it's still slightly chunky, we're gonna set aside half of the portion for our mango milk and then let that portion cool down as well. And continuing on, we're gonna do that monster mash and make it into a very smooth puree. No chunks. Yeah, you can see I left a little bit of chunks, which I probably shouldn't have, but you know, you can do a better job. Ultimately, you can probably even puree it. But on the lowest setting, you're gonna add half a cup of tapioca starch and stir it up until it becomes a thick, gooey paste. And right after, you're gonna take it off the stove and let it cool for a few minutes before adding in the rest of the tapioca starch so then it becomes a dough. Before transferring your dough onto your board, you're gonna dust it with tapioca starch to prevent it from sticking. And then we're gonna knead it a little bit further until everything's smooth and everything is incorporated well. And then finally, just wrap the dough in some plastic wrap and let it rest for 15 minutes. Next, we are going to portion out the dough and leave the remaining dough in the plastic wrap to prevent it from drying out. We're gonna dust up our board again with some tapioca starch to prevent it from sticking to the board. And then finally, roll the dough out into skinny strips. Yup, it's gonna be skinnier than that. Then proceed to cut them into tiny pinky portions. Yeah, that's what I've come up with or just tiny little nuggets. And roll into a ball using your palms. And remember, you have to do this really lightly or else it ain't gonna form. A cool food hack is actually using the bottom of a boba straw to cut out the little circles. And a major pro tip is to coat the boba in tapioca starch so they do not stick together. That is so key, you guys. So yeah, be generous. Don't be shy. Put some more. 
At this point, you can actually freeze them for future use. And it's time to cook the boba! Bring a pot of water to a rolling boil. You have to make sure it is a rolling boil or else the boba will stick together. And using your trusty wooden spoon, you are going to stir it so they separate and allow them to float to the top before we start the timer to cook for 20 minutes without the lid. And after that 20 minutes, we're gonna turn off the stove and remove the pot from the element, cover it with a lid and let it sit for another 20 minutes. Afterwards, you will drain the boba and make sure you don't run it under cold water. I heard that from my friend Feed Mei Mei that they will harden quicker. And you have to place them in a simple syrup. Let's drain the boba from the simple syrup and place them in our glass. Yes, you are almost there, ready to sip the goodness! Then we're going to proceed to add in that delicious mango puree that we had set aside earlier and that has cooled down. We're going to coat the sides of the glass with it. Sort of like that brown sugar boba kind of design. And to keep the drink nice and cool for a summer or spring day, we are going to add in them ice cubes. And last but very not least, add in your milk of choice. I know there's oat milk, almond milk, but for me, we're going for the straight up dairy milk. Oh, and this is the alternative way of actually putting in the toppings, where you can actually see the boba a little bit more if you put the puree first. Oh, and this is the last step, I guess. We're gonna stir and combine that mango puree with the milk and the boba. You can see a little bit more. And then we're gonna sip and enjoy. Hey you, thanks for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And if you haven't yet, feel free to hit subscribe, like, or even place a comment below. And if you want to stay tuned every Friday, make sure you hit that notification bell. See you next time.